very special episode. Um, it's going to be a bit of a collaboration going on, I guess you could say. What's up? Uh, Kendrick and maybe Baby Keem. Um, <laughs> not on that Who's level yet. Who's Baby Keem? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Hey, like, man, doesn't family ties. Anyways, guys, look. So it's going to be a co- collaboration between the Aftermath podcast and The Frequency. Same members, uh, same members, same members. Same sure. members. Yeah. We're gonna go. We're gonna be looking into Kendrick Lamar's new album that has just dropped very recently. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Big Steppers. This yeah. is the last album by Kendrick under the TDE label, Top Dog Entertainment label, and it's been ten years in the waiting. You know what I'm saying? Been waiting ten years for this. So let's see what Kendrick has been doing, how much he's been practicing and shit. Yeah. What this album's gonna be like? We're just gonna be reacting into it. And, you know, if you start jumping around, it's okay. It's part of the vibes. Anyway. <laughs> have, you, have, you already, have you already listened to this? I've already listened to this album. Okay. But I haven't listened with you, though. Yeah, See? yeah. I've listened to First it reaction. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, look, I'm excited to do this. Let's You're get, excited? Let's get the okay, first okay. one. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is uh, United in Grief. I've been going through something. 1,855 days. I've been going through something. Be afraid. What is a bitch in a miniskirt? A man in his feelings with bitterness. What is a woman that really hurt? A demon, you better off killing her. What is a relative make a repetitive narrative on how you did it first? That is a predator in reverse. All of your presidents see with thirst. What is a neighborhood reputable? That is a snitch on a pedestal. What is a house with a better view? A family broken in variables. What is a rapper with jewelry? A way that I show my maturity. What if I call on security? Let me know calling on God for purity.
what do you think about it um it's it's awesome man i don't know it's just a quick quick review instrumentals lit <laughs> oh yeah definitely dude what the fuck that was oh, insane man. jesus christ it's like a train chugging on you know what i'm saying and yeah. then he's just saying and then it's the classic kendrick in the middle yeah. of the in middle of the beat he goes, Switch. Dude, it's <laughs> something with his his voice is so soothing and you notice how we're bumping our heads and it's yeah. like it's awesome right Jeez. however the shit he's saying on his bar is <laughs> so, was talking about like therapy yeah and his, therapy like, temptations the that he has of, yeah fame and celebrity fuck this is, feels like a um mbdtf you know like my beautiful doctors of fantasy kind of album shit is this kind of, is i don't this know his? we'll see we'll see because we'll my yeah. first intake was is it's quite chill it's quite chill um it's it's nothing like uh uh his like other albums other albums and stuff yeah like yeah. they get me hyped this is like really chill but but I'm it's 17 still engaged, tracks or something. Yeah, I'm still enjoying it just as much, man. All right, the uh, I guys next guy next track, sorry, is N95, <laughs> which could be a reference to the <laughs> Corona mask. I don't know. Let's go. Maybe he's calling out everyone. Hello, new world, all the boys and girls. I got some true stories to tell. You're back outside, but they still lie. Whoa, yeah. Take off the poo poo. Take off the cloud chase, take off the wifi. Take off the uniform, take off the car loan, take off the flex and the white house. Take off the weird ass jewelry, I'ma take this step, then I'm taking off top five. Take off the fabricate streams and the microwave means it's a real world outside. Take off the idols, take off the runway, take off the Cairo. Take off the Sandro, pay five days, pay, take off the new and the value. Take off the fuck line, take off the section, take off the pipe or the hot pad. Take off the hundo, take off the onshore, take off the solutions I had. Take off the fake deal, take off the fake wall, take off the humble, gotta care. Take off the gossip, take off the new logic, in a fun with genre. Take off the shit mill, take off the dope, take off the banking bag. Take all the things and the bullshit off and watch you be better. the first part of this and you're just like okay baby keem's coming yeah us, baby man. keem you, baby you just keem. feel it it was a know? real like full-on baby keem flow but yeah the same time i had like the intro was like kind of kendrick and then midway it switches again just like you know kendrick yeah. does and it goes into like a more baby keem style you know i think more yeah. the, the the chorus is probably like more like baby keem and then this guy just talking about some fucking again celebrity culture and stuff 
It's interesting. He said he's talking about cancel culture, eh? Yeah. She. Yeah. You know what stood out to me though? Uh, when I listened to verse three, that's the part where like he's just like going hard. Yeah. And he's like he puts on this like kind of uh like I wouldn't say soprano, but a different pitch in his voice. Yeah. It's super reminiscent of um the way he was rapping on Mona Lisa with a. Uh, with Lil Wayne. Uh, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. This was on, on uh, Carter Five, I think. Damn. It was. Just hearing that, I, I was just getting hyped. And don't even get me started on the bridge, man. Short and sweet. <laughs> but like the way that these two rap, it's uh, they're it, they're like within the kind of same like realm. Same realm. But and like, creativity, I feel yeah. like yeah, definitely. And the thing is like um, I feel like Kendrick has definitely been practicing because this rhythmically it's like really different, you know, yeah. compared to the other songs and stuff. Like, we only listen to one track, but so, I mean, yeah. like... The way that these two rap, Baby Keem and Kendrick Lamar, the yeah. way they rap, uh, I can only really point out only a, other couple rappers that's able to accelerate and decelerate the way that they do. But what makes Kendrick special, not necessarily just in this track, but in other tracks, I think is, like, he's able to, like, change the pitch and, like, tone in his voice. Yeah, a lot. Um, and it, it's able to convey, like, a completely different message. Like, on Mona Lisa, like... He was yeah. like pretending to be a girl. It feels like got a, a, he got away with it because it sounded so lit. Just just like verse three. That's why verse three reminds me so verse much three of that. Well. Because yeah. it, it's more like a dramatical play, the way he's speaking and stuff. Yeah. Than an act like like a song. I don't know. For me, it feels like in my head, it feels like this guy is like saying some shit to someone else. Like that's like yeah. an actor or something. I don't know. It's it's hard to say. It's, his storytelling is awesome. But sometimes he raps so fast, you're just like, Whoa. it's one of those things you got to look at Kick Genius. <laughs> yeah, or like, listen to the we song a couple to, of times. We yeah. have to. We Not have that we're to. on it right now. But, you know, <laughs> I mean, if you want to sponsor We definitely us. have to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude, our second language is English, so you know what I'm saying? Shit. Our second language is what? English, bro. Oh, I thought you said English. So like... <laughs> English, English. It's English. All right. The next song is called United In- No. Un- next song is called Worldwide Steppers. That's what the next song is called. Is there anyone featuring White Steppers? Well, White Steppers. All right, let's go. Call that black. Oh. Okay, Lama. Hey. At heart, told him. And this is the big step. Again. He's experimental, man. He's experimental. Yeah. I'm a killer, he's a killer, she's a killer, bitch. We some killers walking zombies trying to scratch that itch. Germophobic, head and boy. I am not for the faint of heart. My genetic build can build multi universes. The man of God playing baby shark with my daughter. Watching for sharks outside at the same time. Life is a protective like fire. A Kanye. I'm for my son Enoch is the part two. When I inspire my children to make higher values. In this present moment, I saw that through. Ask Whitney about my lust addiction. Text messaging, bitches got my thumbs hurt. Said president for a new sack religion. Riders black for two years, nothing. The movie has got to speak through me. That's what you hear now. The voice of yours truly teleport out my whole body for comfort. I don't pass judgment, past life regressions. Keep me in question. Where did I come from? I don't think like I used to. No, I'm blink like I used to. I could stare at everybody. See the flesh of man, but still this man compared to nobody. Yesterday I prayed to the flowers and trees. Gratification to the powers that be. Synchronization with my energy chakras. The ghost of Dr. Sebi paid it for. Cleaned out my toxins, bacteria heavy. Sciatica nerve pinch. I don't know how to feel. Like the first time I fucked a white bitch. Shit. The first time I fucked a white bitch, I was 16 at the Palisades, fumbled in my graves. I traveled with the team, the Apache like Zatinio was like when Miss Baker screamed at Doughboy, mixed that with purple rain, the interchange the seas. Happened just to be out the hood with all the wealthy kids, credit cards and family plans. She drove her daddy's bins. I found out that he was a sheriff. That was a win win because he had locked up Uncle Perry. She paid her daddy's sins. Next time I fucked a oh. white bitch, was out in Copenhagen. Good kid, Shit. mass city tour. I flourished on them stages when he asked that I have a problem. I said I might be racist. Ancestors watching me fuck was like retaliation. I'm a killer. She's a killer. She's a killer, bitch. We some killers walking zombies trying to scratch that itch. Germophobic, heteroborn, homophobic. Photoshopping lies and motors. Hide your eyes and pose for the pick. Jesus. Yeah. It's like a payback. 
the slavery and racism. Yeah. Uh, they build the people on earth, silent murderers, non-profits, preachers in church, crooks and burglars, <laughs> Hollywood corporate oh, like school, the... teacher philosophies, you either go be dead or in jail, killer psychology, silent murderer, what's your body count, who is back, shit, back, back. <laughs> so many bitches, I killed their confidence, the media here is the new religion, you killed the consciousness, your jealousy is way too pretentious, you killed accomplishments, niggas killed freedom of speech, everyone's sensitive, Jeez. if you're a fuck run and leak, might as well send your will, the industry has killed the creators, I'd be the first to say, the each exec was saving your children, we can't negotiate, I caught a couple bodies myself, slid my community, my last Christmas toy driving Compton handed out eulogies, not because the rags in the park had red gradient, but because the high blood pressure flooded the catering, so what's the difference between your life when I the motors, what fatalities and reality brought you closure, the noble person that goes to work and pray like they post up, slaughter people too, your murder's just a bit slower, Jeez. I'm a killer, he's a killer, she's a killer bitch, we some killers walking zombies trying to scratch that itch, Germophobic, heteroborn, homophobic, photoshopping lines and motors, hide your eyes, they pose for the pick. Man, why is it always like the last line that kind of like Gee, that was a very that was a very song as intense well. and quite a sad song i feel like he he does this a lot where um very it kind of it feels more like a poem as opposed to a rap yeah, yeah, yeah and he did this a lot in uh to pimp a butterfly to pimp a butterfly as so, well like, with some of the, the yeah. beats as well because it's it's very jazzy the beat yeah like i'm not joking and that's why he's, i came to like yeah it's um, very depressive as well maybe he's using jazz as a way of telling his story. No, I thought because it, was... it doesn't s- switches right to yeah. him about being it, it being about racism and stuff, yeah. and him trying to you know have sexual intercourse with this white girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to pay back. Damn, Whitney nope. asked, "Did I have a problem?" I said, "I'm racist. I might be racist." Answer still yeah. watching. The you know, you know when he talks about that, right? Yeah. It's interesting because um, when I talk to like uh like all my um black friends and stuff, right? Yeah, they're there's kind of like this inner conflict or something in them because the way they explain to me is like dude i, I can't be with a white girl i just feel like i'm betraying betraying my the country, community yeah. and like my ancestors and i was i could kind of understand but like he conveyed it like really well here i just feel jeez next time i fucked the white bitch was out in copenhagen where's copenhagen is that in denmark yeah that's possibly the he's even talking about europe because yeah. <laughs> they came from europe and invaded their lands photoshop and lies and motives hide your eyes and pose for the pics Jeez. i really liked that <sighs> line and the yeah. one about the um the one about churches non-profits preachers and churches yeah, cooks yeah, and yeah. burglars bro this felt like this old Vic mensa stuff you know when he was like talking about this a lot Shit. Yeah, we don't talk about it. Nah, that was a very good line. Because the oh. flood, because the high blood pressure flood the catering. Oh, jeez! Like the rags in the park had red gradient. Is he talking about the bloods? Yeah. And then because so. the high blood pressure flooded the catering. Sheesh. Dude, that last line, I just. I just thought of Hollywood immediately, man. Gee, like, hide your eyes, then pose for the pig, Photoshop and lies and motives. Damn. He's talking about, again, I think cancer culture as well here yeah. in the song again. Damn, this is a very, you know, social justice uh, thriller song. Hom- being homophobic, the whole idea, that's like a constant theme in this album. Jeez. Um, Gemophobic. Can't wait till we get to another song. Okay, okay. But it's, next, next track, next let's track. Check it out, let's check it out. So what, what's the next track, man? Uh, it's called Die Hard. Die Hard. Kendrick Lamar, Blast with X, and Amanda. 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 <laughs> yeah, no. Amanda. 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 Right. Reefer. Amanda Re- Reifer. 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 Okay. Let's go. Die Hard. I don't know if it's a reference to the movie or let's go. So definitely like an R&B. I popped the pain away. I slide the pain away. I popped the pain away. I slide the pain away. I'm 
I ain't even got a girl, bro. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Shit, Coco Pop. Oh, damn. This means like the love song from Damn. interesting though because he's still really passionate with his wife i guess and he's been going out with her since high school yeah. oh that's awesome It's been 10 years. <laughs> I think he was making friends to his uh, friend that passed, his friend's brother that passed away. Oh, because of Compton gang violence. Father Time, Feet, is anyone else? Feet no, Sampa, I, I think. Yeah, Sampa. I don't know how to say his name. Sampa? Sampa. 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 I bet this is going to so be we're not it. doing the break anymore. It just goes straight. Go straight. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, let me pause it. Generation of home invasions, and I got daddy issues. That's on me. Everything the four boys that tell me they have is very deep. They may know a lot, but not enough to keep me past the streets. My life is a plot twisted from directions that I can't see. Daddy issues all across my head. Tony me fuck up out of teary eyes. Wanna throw my hands? I won't think I'm loud. A foolish pride. If I lose again, won't go in the house. I stand outside. Laugh towards my friends. They don't know my life. Daddy issues made me learn losses. I don't take those well. Mama said that boy is exhausted. He said, go fuck yourself. If you give up now, let's go coffee. Life's a bitch. You could be a bitch or step out the marshes. I got up quick. I'm charging baskets and falling back, but trying to keep balance. Oh, this is a problem with mental stability meets talent. Oh, this is a problem with my humanity. Just for practice, tactics we learn together. So it loses forever. Daddy, issue on the spring house. Practice it on day. Oh. He was good. That's a good fucking chorus. Dude, Sam was always delivering, bro. Holy shit. He did that song in Drake, remember? 
the uh, the one on his uh, mixtape. Oh, the yeah, Chicago. Yeah. No, the Chicago freestyle. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I think that was him. Not that I listened to Drake. Like, yeah. <laughs> nah, shut the fuck up, bro. Right, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> every dude, every dude listening to this with a straight childhood right now. <laughs> like, give me a hug, man. Damn. Going back to his childhood and shit. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. The sun that's live. Bill's got no silver spoon. Only your mama knows. This made Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> For you so far, has every song been hitting for you? I know we were only like five songs in. It's been pretty good. It's been it's good. Obviously, my childhood was the same as this, but the way he says it, you can really picture it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you can just imagine, like, what the. F- Dude. There was a lot of good lines in that. Like, there's a lot of good lines. The really good lines. I gotta go back and like <laughs> highlight that, man. Bro, man, my vision board this album, you bro. gotta be listening for months or some shit. I, th- I feel like each time we listen to it, yeah. you're gonna keep discovering more shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're gonna keep discovering, oh, this line, this line. This That's what happened with me in uh, Good Kid Mad City and shit. Yeah. Because I never really listened to it. But this is re- look, having this lyrics up is really helpful for yeah, me yeah. just to follow Honestly, the song. same, yeah. because um, I've listened to this album. Yeah. Uh, not as frequently as I would love love to. Yeah. Just because I knew we were doing this video. Yeah. And I've already kind of picked out songs that were like pretty you awesome. Like, yeah. Cool to me. But like Not to have the lyrics up, it's just like, <laughs> oh man. This, like, is, this is some sad shit. I'll yeah. start crying, bro. But what <laughs> Kendrick always does that. Like he always talks about some real like proper like social struggle within ourselves yeah. as well. And then like gets us bumping to it. It's so, it's tricky. It's very tricky. And it was the beat was like again it's very smooth it's like R and B like yeah. it goes from a love song to like a song about childhood and like also oh, the mentality of people with single I mean single fathers and kids who grew up without a mom you know what I'm saying yeah. or without a dad and how that affects them some daddy issues man daddy issues as he says the daddy issues I, got, I gotta say as well on that last song <laughs> which song was that again real quick uh, Die Hard Die Hard yeah, yeah. um. The chorus, the chorus was really awesome in that. I gotta say, yeah. Like, uh, what, what was there was a line in here? I mean, let me just go back real quick. Uh, it's like shimmy, shimmy, coca pop. Like when I when I heard that, yeah. I was just like, yep, this is definitely one for the clubs. <laughs> this, this definitely got me in my feelings. Not to compare it to like other sentimental rappers like Drake. I'm kind of sick of using. It yeah, as sick of using. But like this is this, this is, is very this beautiful. Is awesome, man. It's like, beautiful. I'm not usually a huge um huge um listener of like romantic songs and stuff but this is beautiful i feel like this yeah. is coming from a real place considering he's had such a stable relationship with his wife as well so you you can at least feel it's real you know what i'm saying every everything with kendrick has felt very authentic to authentic me. yes that's the you, word you notice how he doesn't even he, oh, he's not too into like designer brands yeah like in terms of his clothing it's clothing and in stuff. one of his bars uh when he was diss tracking i think this was like drake big sean and like ASAP oh all yeah the time. and the whole all and the rappers like, like yo i'm just gonna wear a white tee and, um, <laughs> Let's Cor- go, and my yo. nike cortez's cortez's being like the yeah, compton the, shoe that's man. the compton like, shoe the hood shoe the west hood coast shoe. man all right all right we got uh, next next song is the interlude rich rich i feel like this was like sort of a skit for me and i listened to it before yeah. but listen again oh kodak black like again he's in here yeah I learned and sam i love kodak man it, bro 
You have to listen to Kodak's uh, old album, man. Which one? The uh, the one that released last year, I think. Or the year before that. It's very personal. It's really good. I'm pretty sure yeah, that it's really good because they're using him a lot now because um he's been through prison and stuff. Yeah, you know? it's it's hard to not like Kodak. It's like, it's like Gucci Mane. <laughs> yeah, but he's more. Oh, I actually have personality. Heard that one. I actually yeah, heard that one. from that album. Back from ZZ. everything. Oh from no, I've heard ZZ. Yeah, ZZ. No, from that album, the ZZ album. From that album. Oh, Dying Code. 2018, yeah. my yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, that, that was good. Now getting game back to the old head. And respect from Perkins. Yeah, you know, King Dugger and the OG. Gotta get somewhere. Gotta cook with something. Gotta cook with nothing. When you see this turn, it's more than a blessing. What you doing with Kendrick? What you doing with Alexa? Jeez. It's a mumble rapper, you know? Fuck. It's all said and done. We ain't even looking at it. That's some game. Make the ends meet, daddy, daddy, have a skill to a meal, or you can't eat, you know, you're probably, red cost, food, they just lit, now look at this shit, we on poppin'. Sheesh. Man, again, a poem, it, was, it felt like a poem. Yeah. He could have, really this guy could have this <laughs> Kodak Black do this shit. Damn. Rich Spirit. That's the most personal I've seen Kodak. Yeah, the next song, Kodak, Rich Spirit. Oh, yeah. Rich Spirit. Most personal? My baby to school, I haven't school. seen Kodak this personal on like other features and shit. Oh, on saying? features, yeah, fair. I don't even know that's a feature, it's like punk. A feature on an interlude, interesting. Yeah, interlude. <laughs> yeah. It's like sort of Frank Ocean with Kanye. Yeah, Remember that? Frank oh, Ocean yeah, interlude, yeah. Yeah. Painted yeah. pictures put me in the loo. Oh, jeez. <laughs> This is like a baby king. This is a baby king flow. Yeah, baby king flow, right? Definitely. It's also sung by Sam D, who was listening or watching. I don't know what that is. Why are you lying on I feel like he's talking about his spending habits, he doesn't spend like other rappers yeah. on like big bling and shit. Damn. Is this guy like an indie rock artist? I Sam think so. it sounds like yeah, it. it sounds like an indie it's, song, um, right? That was an awesome yeah. little interlude. Yeah, that brother. Hey, brother, range brother. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like baby shame. Like, it's really cool. But... It's like they just kind of exchange notes exchange. for this album. And you can't, you can't be like, oh, that's that's baby came like in a negative way nah, because nah. they're cousins you know because <laughs> it's blood related nah. rapping now <laughs> and it's a proper Compton connection as Compton well. connection as well the new earth in hot pursuit 200 lives What's Kendrick's religion? Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Kendrick, I'm pretty sure he's definitely ba Baptist. Surely he's Baptist. I, I gotta check real quick, man. Surely he's Baptist. But yeah, it's very... I don't know I don't know if he's singing to a girl or he's singing to a guy. I'm a bit confused. Is he singing to... Is he singing to her because... 
I think he's. I thought it was singing to a guy. He's singing to a guy, but then he's just like, "Bitch, makes, I'm attractive," and yeah. he talks about you know, wait, see, because he talks about like, "Why are you in front of the mirror more than?" Girl? Stop playing with me, bitch! I'm too attractive. Can't fuck with you. I'm fasting four Actually, days maybe, out the maybe week, it brother. Is. But then he talks about brother as well. We just up the school. Give me that, brother. Spirit uh, medium. I don't Kendrick's, know, brother. Kendrick's Christian. Is he Christian? Baptist? False claim. False claiming. Not cute. I'm mortified. The new earth and hot pursuit. What does that mean? New earth. Sorry. Once again, it's German spiritual. Eckhart Tolle. This time referencing a self help book. New earth with this message in this in our end. Oh, yeah, he's been out his life and it's inflicted a lot of trauma, so he's trying to resolve that. Dude, this is just like <laughs> two, three lines. What this is insane? Jeez. Okay, I'm, okay. I'll be honest though. Yeah. This is one of the songs that if it's on like shuffle, I'll probably skip over. Skip like, it over, you know. No disrespect. Um, I'll probably skip this one over. Skip over. Just just because like the the other songs uh, we haven't even oh, got to them good, yet are just. Good. You might like them later on in life. <laughs> it's know. one of those things you probably like, like two and a half years down the two track, and, half and years you just like, listen to it, and you're like, "All right, I relate to this now." Yeah, yeah. All right, the next track is "We Cry Together," and that's featuring Taylor Page. Taylor Page. Oh, Taylor what the Page. heck? She got Florence. It's uh, I'm pretty sure. Really yeah, I think Florence is from Florence and the Machines. Jeez. Oh man. She's still nah, making music. I listen to this song, man. It's hard to listen. It's so real, bro. Like, okay, okay, okay. But yeah, let's, 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 let's do it. We cry together, so. Oh, <laughs> 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 I miss you. Oh, that's Florence and the Machines. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like a wolf owling. I just feel like I'm on the mountaintop right now, you know? like, <laughs> oh, yeah. just looking at like... Like sheep and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and sheep and... You just right. got a beer and you're just like... This is what the world sounds like. Such a contrast, right? You just, you were just elevating one elevated, point and you elevated. just brought back to, to this earth. And the beat is very um, gangster rap as well. Like, you're, like a proper dialogue. Like I said before, Taylor Page. I'm definitely gonna check her out. Yeah. This feels like me discovering Rico Nasty. That's what I would say. This is so in your face. Um, very like Eminem Slim Eminem, Shady. Like Eminem Slim Shady, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eminem versus Falcon, bro. <laughs> like I said before. Clarence with his parents. Imagine you you rap battle your rap battle with your girl or some shit, bro. Fuck. Dude, I'll fucking I'll destroy <laughs> yeah, her, destroy. bro. I swear to God, we bro. Stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were talking about this before. It was about like toxic relationships and shit. Very verbally yeah, for abusive. me, this was very hard to listen to. Yeah, but um, I I couldn't stop listening to it. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? It's one of those. Because it feels like you are embodying Kendrick in this moment, and then you're seeing the other girl. Yeah. Jeez. But the thing I like about Kendrick here is, um, he gives both sides. He kind of doesn't make it look like the girl's the one fucking up. You know, one-sided arguments yeah. and shit. It's very good. It legit feels like a play as well, like a theatrical play, a dialogue between two people. I don't know, man. This would have taken a while to write, considering it's like a collab as well. Mm. I, I haven't heard anything like this before, man. Before, but um, the two perspectives and shit. Yeah, like, it's like spoken word. I, I can, <laughs> like, I can think of like Drake and Rihanna and um, G and Ico. Gene but I this go. is this is no, like this is such different. an in your face conversation, this man. This is real. This is yeah, real shit. This is real. This isn't no lovey dovey. This is like it feels so raw. The raw and stuff. <laughs> Jeez. When I had 
had uh, my headphones in yeah, for the first yeah. time listening to this. I was just like, you thought I was you were so being hurt, attacked. man. I was just like, I want to defend myself. But this would be this would be like a track that I wouldn't like listen listen to. I would listen listen to, but I wouldn't like put it on when I'm like doing something else. Nah. So it feels like an actual fight is happening nah, in the background. It makes like, you feel uncomfortable, but it <laughs> kind of you just exposes you to the reality, man. Like, not to sound like abusive oh, reality, fellas. Stay sick, no. <laughs> Imagine this is your parents, bro. Nah. And they're fighting like this. Your dick, dick, dick small. And then they're talking about your uncle. <laughs> no, but like I mean, kids, not just in Compton, probably yeah, well, do, are exposed to this. Yeah. I think I think anyone that's been in a relationship yeah. can kind of, or in a toxic relationship, can relate to this. This is just heightened with heightened. When you start talking about the dude's pee pee, man, <laughs> Shit, like, that's fucked. <coughs> And then blaming him for all the um, the Me Too movement, etc. Yeah, shit. Because they do a lot of that, right? Like, like they, yeah. But this is like the extreme side of feminism. They, they I feel take, like they take jabs yeah. like on different personal levels. Different personal levels. And still to relate it to the Me Too. Movement. Yeah, Me Too. It's just a, uh, it's just they want to win the argument, I guess, from either side. But I feel like Kendrick in this song is a bit more. Um, What's the option uh, opposite of assertive? Oh, uh, Sub- submissive. 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 It feels a bit more submissive. Really? I feel like it's a roller coaster. A I feel like coaster. the girl goes crazy oh, but he and then her, he comes back. He did call her pussy loose before she said about her dick. And the pussy mouth um, line <laughs> as well. Jeez. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just joking. No, mom and daddy don't watch this. <laughs> nah, no, no. mom and dad cannot watch this. They, they go be watching this shit, bro. And then they go share it to my family group. <laughs> man, I'm a, I'm a... Now we gotta get married, Paolo. <laughs> Pick me up at the police station, man. Oh, uh, next song, next, next song. song. What are we looking at, man? This is Purple Hearts with Summer Walker. Purple Hearts. I already yeah. like this stuff. Summer Walker in like every good She's doing rap good. song. Good man. feature, good feature. Yeah. And her album was pretty good as well. Oh, fuck. This is really it goes well with um it goes well with Kendrick. Hmm. This is going in the you know the playlist. <laughs> nah, <laughs> yeah. nah this is definitely violation. going in that playlist, bro. Is he talking about purple hearts because he survived the relationship? <laughs> so he got the medal? Right. Purple hearts. Because the purple heart, you know? It's a military medal. Oh really? Yeah, to give like soldiers who did like went about themselves in battle and shit. Like save like six people or something. Maybe it's a double entendre yeah, for double. the heart going through yeah. a lot as well. Cause you know in the song, you don't know if he's like being aggressive or is he being passive aggressive yeah. sometimes. This here is first. Wait, is he talking about cheating and then uh, fucking yeah, with yeah. skirts because I'm rational? I'd rather fast with you. Yeah. So like fast uh, sacrifice and being able to give up. Yeah. Maybe he's just talking about Lent. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I mean, look, I mean, we got like a church, 3D look, chest again. Look, okay, look. Church is about like sacrifice for your religion. Yeah. Um, and that's, there why is some there's God. Lent, that's why there's fasting. So yeah. I think he just means like he would be able to endure it with her as opposed to fucking it up and taking the easy route. Uh, okay, that's that's how I interpret it at least. Oh. She ain't think about the dad. I love I love the line Rolling Sevens I ain't ready for no coffin. What does that mean? Rolling Sevens like gambling. Gambling. So oh. like you're betting, and a lot of people have gambling issues where yeah. they bet like their house, their life, house and stuff. Ready no for Rolling Seven and Sevens the highest probability to roll on two dice. On two oh dice. Oh my god! I ain't ready. But if you keep betting and betting, that's an early grave Shit. as well. What the fuck? But that's like one line, man. That's like, and it's in the chorus. 
to hit us with that. <laughs> Like the guy's insecurities, His like insecurities being insist. projected onto her, I feel. So wait, is he talking about a stripper now? Because why? Because no, like her baby daddy or the guy he's she's seeing is yeah. like asking her, like, have you been on a stripper pole? Like, who have you been with? And oh. I feel like that's a lot of insecure oh. guys. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Man, my body going twisting in different ways, bro. <laughs> hey, do that again, I'm just man. thinking about it. Thinking about the moves. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Have you ever loved a girl but not eat her ass? Uh, I've never loved so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll eat your ass, though. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Hey, 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 It's like it's like um man Elohim This guy man Is that a good old Brooklyn boom bap? Yeah You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bring it back. It's it's really coming back with the Griselda and stuff as well, so it's pretty dope. And they come mainly from Staten Island. Yeah, yeah Ghostface. I love on. I love how there's no heavy percussion on this. Percussion. Cause um it separates yeah. it from the chorus and the verses. Chorus. This is like This is very conscious rap. It's yeah. very conscious rap like that's what I'm saying. And I feel like this shows Ghostface Killer's maturity as well. Because he's talking about God here, whereas Kendrick is a younger man talking about love and passion yeah. and stuff. That, and that, this guy's already thinking about death, you know? That line with heavy baggage, baggage in my, my brother's, brother's ashes. ashes. <laughs> I yeah. seem tragic, I did dirt, smack death, and held it. <laughs> no, it's just shit. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say it, I didn't say oh. it, I didn't say it. I didn't say it, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Uh, police. I didn't say it, I didn't say it. Twitter don't see this. Bye bye. Are you alright, mate? You fine. Bye. Bye. Nah. <laughs> bye. Let that go, man. Let that go. <laughs>